Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about six months ago, I posted a video where we looked at what to possibly expect from Windows 12 if Microsoft does call the next version of Windows, Windows 12. Now, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. But um, some more information has come to light over the last six months or so. So I thought it's time once again just to do another quick catch up as to what you possibly expect from the next version of Windows. And this is by no means a comprehensive list, but just kind of some of the key highlights as to more or less what we know um, that Microsoft could be working on and could be rolling out with Windows 12. Now, at this stage, we don't know if it's actually going to be called Windows 12. Microsoft has never um, mentioned anything officially about Windows 12. And... It could be just another Windows 11 feature update, as an example, Windows 11 version 24H2. But what we do know is that it is codenamed Hudson Valley, and um, it will be rolling out in the second latter half of 2024. So that's give or take September, October, November of next year. And uh, um, that's because, as I have mentioned previously, Microsoft did say they were returning to a three-year rollout cycle for major versions of um, Windows and Windows 11, the original release rolled out in the latter half of 2021. So three years later, it takes us to 2024. And Microsoft also has mentioned, and this is already happening, where they are rolling out new features every few months, which are called moment or moments updates for Windows 11. And we have already received three moment updates for Windows 11 so far. And then the next moment update, moment four, we are expecting to um, see rollout for Windows 11 in the latter half of this year, 2023, which will be referred to as the 23H2 feature update. Now, this also means that if Microsoft does call the next version of Windows, Windows 12, and that three-year release cycle means that from 2024, uh, that will take us to 2027, where we could then get a possible Windows 13 rolling out three years from 2024 into 2027, but now we're really jumping ahead. But that's more or less how we can expect, uh, give or take, this um, rollout cycle to go. But we are dealing with Microsoft here, so things could change. So just take note of that. Now, when it comes to the system requirements, um, I think things will more or less be the same as Windows 11. I have um, posted previously, there were reports about Microsoft may require you to um, run Win a so-called Windows 12 on an SSD and not a mechanical hard drive, but that has never been confirmed. And there are reports, as I have mentioned previously, that are saying that um, the RAM requirements, which are currently um, the minimum um, memory and RAM requirements for Windows 11 are four gigabytes, where this could be moved up to eight gigabytes for Windows 12. So I actually think this may happen where Microsoft will move the minimum RAM requirements from four to eight gigabytes for Windows 12. Now, when it comes to the new UI and some of the features, um, I have posted on this quite in depth, and there is a playlist at the bottom of the homepage of this channel. But this is a very popular screenshot that was taken from Microsoft's Ignite um, conference last year um, from a presentation they were given, and this is actually a mock-up. And this more or less um, is what we are kind of expecting the uh, the desktop of Windows 12 to look like, where we get the floating taskbar at the bottom. Um, all the system tray elements have been moved to the top right. The search has been moved to the top center. The widget, as an example, has been moved uh, to the top left. And this is more or less what that UI will look like. And of course, with Windows 12, um, we could see new features rolling out, but at this stage, it's not exactly clear what those features will be. And um, when it comes to new features, though, Microsoft has already mentioned, as I have posted previously, that they will be focusing on AR for Windows 12 and where it will have more artificial intelligence built into the actual operating system. And I actually think this is um, where Microsoft will go to some extent or the other with the next version of Windows, be that Windows 11 or Windows 12. Um, but Microsoft has already mentioned this Copilot, which we actually can expect to see uh, roll out with the 23H2 feature update later this year for Windows 11. And basically what this does is it uses cloud computing um, to process um, a large language model that um, can answer your questions and queries, very similar to what we get obviously for the new Microsoft Bing chat now. Um, using the uh, chatbot chat GPT. So 
uh, Copilot is already on the way, possibly this year, to Windows 11. So if that's already making its way into Windows 11 this year, I think when Microsoft eventually does roll out a Windows 12, um, if they are rolling out Windows 12, as mentioned, we will definitely see more AR features being built uh, into Windows 12. And then something I've also posted on previously uh, is Windows 12, um, could be a core PC, which is very similar to core OS. Now, I'm not going to get too much into this in uh, into the core PC in this video because I have posted a whole video previously, which I'll leave a link uh, down uh, to down below in the description. But um, as I've mentioned previously, previously, just to do a quick recap, Microsoft is working on a Windows core PC project um, that aims to create a modular and customizable variant of Windows. So basically what that means, think Windows 10X, which has now been deprecated, and the Chromebook um, that Microsoft may use for different form factors. And that means it will also be state-separated, enabling faster updates and provide a more secure platform. So what state-separated means, just a quick recap. Uh, if we head over to our file explorer, currently Windows 11, as an example, is installed on one partition. For most users, that would be your C drive. But the core PC, and um, when it comes to a state separated, could mean that um, Windows 12 could be installed, the core OS could be installed on more than one hard drive. If you have more hard drives or SSDs or different hard drive partitions, as an example. But as mentioned, that core PC video, I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. So that's just a very quick overview, just a quick update um, from the video I did post about six months or so later, as more or less what we could expect to see in the next um, in the next uh, version of Windows, be that Windows 11 version 24H2 or Windows 12. We don't know at this stage because Microsoft um, has never confirmed any of this, but I thought I'd just keep you updated. And um, that's Windows 12 and what you possibly expect. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.